Paul, very sad news uh, today about Steve Prescott. Uh, wh where were you? How did you hear? I was just uh, I was in I was in the hotel and I uh, had a text off my wife uh, just informing me of the news. And I'm obviously you know, very upset. It's uh, you know we're all well aware that Steve's been you know battling this illness for a long, long time. And but you know even so, him, the news still comes as a, as a real shock. You knew him very well. How, how will you remember him? Oh, he's, he's just a phenomenal man. Uh, uh, you know, I grew up on the Saints terraces watching him play, and first and foremost, and you know, I admired what he did there. But I think you know the way he's dealt with you know such adverse situations, you know, and the way he's dealt with his illness over the last seven or eight years has just been so inspirational. And you know, certainly lesser people would have dealt with it differently, but but Steve has constantly fought and fought, and uh, like I say he's, he's just uh, you know a huge inspiration to everybody, and you know he's going to be sadly missed. I mean, he defied the odds right from the off. They said he had a, a few months to live, and he, he lasted so many years. Yeah, and you, know, you, know, you add to that the, the amount of work that he's done for charity, the amount of you know the, those those challenges that he's took on, you know, whilst while suffering from the, from this illness, is you know it's it's mind blowing really that he's been able to physically you know, get up and do it. And only a couple of months ago, I went down to Oxford with John Wilkin and. and you know, sat down with him for a, for a couple of hours and spoke to him. And even then, he was talking so positively about the future. And, you know, that, that was his mindset, Steve. He was such a positive guy, and uh, you know, it, that, that, that's why it's all the more, you know, more difficult to come to terms with. You know, we were devastated before the game. You know, we we got a you know word of it. You know, probably an hour before we were due to leave the hotel. And certainly, personally, you know, I'm, I don't know a lot of the players certainly know him really well, but personally, knowing Steve as close as I did do, um, yeah, just. Obviously, shocking news and thoughts. Obviously, with all, well, his, all his family, his immediate family, and his, you know, particularly his children, his wife Lindsay. He divided the odds, didn't he? Medically, he was given just a few short months to live and, uh, and achieved so much in the years that he had left. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, I, I remember when he first got diagnosed, and I went round and knocked on his door and, and uh, saw saw him at that stage, and he didn't look too well then. And you know, it was a it was a shock at that stage, but then to to probably find out the extent of his illness and then. He got told he only had, you know, practically months to live to, to do what he's done. You know, it's just beyond belief. It's it's superhuman. I, I can't I can't understand how he's managed to do it, and but he did. And uh, you know, he came and spoke to the England players mid-season. He he come and spoke to us before we played the Exiles and presented our England shirts. And one of the key things that he said to the group was, "Your your body will do what your man tell what your man tells it to do." And it stuck with us. You know, it stuck with himself personally. It stuck with the whole group, and we certainly draw inspiration still from him. As a good mate of his, how will you how will you look back and remember? Oh look, we you, you know you, you remember Steve. Everyone's talking about Steve as a as a man, you know, about the achievements that he's, he's achieved since his illness. But I think we should run and recognise what a great player he was as well. He was an absolutely brilliant rugby league player, and I remember playing in the England shirt with him alongside of him up in in Gateshead, and I think he brought the the point scoring record. So I, I like to remember him fondly of that. But we uh, we used to share a card together from Hull to Wakefield and it wasn't the best 10 months of our careers and we used to moan and groan to each other in the car and lean on each other a little bit but we had really good fun and um, yeah just uh, you know probably remember in that light and, and for the the achievements and probably the money and the good that he's, he's created for everybody else.